Gareth was always about pushing forward, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why I get annoyed with the people who are kind of stuck with these kind of rules of, of graffiti, mm. which graffiti wasn't really always about rules, I don't think. It was about progressing and moving forward. Killer Killer Podcast. Killer Killer Official .com. You need the Kellervision app. 24 7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Instagram UK Frontline. Beatbox created. Killer Killer. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Killer Podcast. Alright, chest out, stomach's in, we're going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Killer Killer Podcast, Central London Central, as you need to be. Big shout out to graffitikings.co.uk if you haven't checked out the Television app. You're clearly not maximising on your phone's potential. Free download, Android, iPhone, you know how to roll. Uh, where to begin? Here we go, we've got another one in. <laughs> that rhymed. Um, we have a gentleman of street art culture, but definitely comes from a widely worlded background of uh, graffiti. Uh, Mr. Sen's inside the place. How are you? Oh, good, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice wicked to, here, to see you. Yeah. <laughs> we well, deliberately kept our voices relatively quiet while I was shuffling around here trying to figure out the rights and wrongs of live, <laughs> live recording. Um, yeah, man. Where you travelled from, brother? Where you travelled from? Uh, Crystal Palace, South East, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of a trot. Easy on the easy on the overground now though, yeah. you know what I mean. Has uh, has the uh, cl current climate has it served you right or wrong? Has it? Uh... Um, well, without getting <laughs> stuck down the rabbit hole too much, man. Because every time you road. speak to someone, it's like, oh man, yeah. it's end up getting dark and like <laughs> depressing. But, Depends who you're you know, talking to, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know. It's, it's been challenging, of course, but, um, you know, I've been lucky. You know, I've had a lot of studio work that's come in and I've just made stuff happen, you know. Yeah. Like last year, you know, obviously at the beginning of the year, I had loads of international trips mm -hmm. and all booked up and then that all got cancelled. And then I was like, you know what, I'm not going to just sit around for the year. Yeah. I'm just going to make shit happen, you know. So um, did lots of murals in my local area, which was cool. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, um Ended up being a super busy year for me last year, man. So um, it was good. Ooh. I just, like I so said, I just, I'm not one to just sit around and moan about how mm. bad things are. You just got to, I just adapted. It certainly doesn't look it from your social media that you are <laughs> <I> super <laughs> active. <laughs> so yeah, I just adapted and, and just got busy and just, as I said, just did lots of cool stuff around London and around my local area, which was really, really nice, man. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, do you yeah. think, do you think like, I mean, first of all, I think, as I was saying before, when we first met, look, creatively, our and our world, it's almost like we, we prepare for the worst in, some, in a lot of cases, you know. Things like this that happen in our lives are pretty frequent, maybe not to the worldwide, you know, uh, ex ex extremity of it all. But, but, you know, I mean, we do, we work within those yeah, yeah, of boundaries. Course, of course, and like, you know, there's always challenges, jobs get cancelled, you've got to adapt all the time. Mm. If you're, you know, trying to make a living yeah. from being <laughs> being an artist, man, you know, you're always throwing these kind of curveballs, isn't it? So, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, that's got to be in your kind of DNA, man. It's like, right, <laughs> shit, I need to get some money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's hustling, isn't it, basically? Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Constant. Professional hustlers, you yeah. know what I mean? So. Yeah, totally. <laughs> yeah. Emergency, what's it, rapid response unit on, on the inevitable that could go wrong. It's like, we're there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, um, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> yeah, voice. And working from the front end as if, like shit it's actually gonna go down go bad it's like you you know recalibrated and got it all together which is fucking awesome man yeah man yeah 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 i know obviously you know i'm hopeful gonna get you know out of out of this uh little island <laughs> at some point this year mm -hmm. you know what i mean because um you know, I'm, I'm starting to miss my travels now, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so um, I'm hoping, I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I'm sick of my studio right now. So. <laughs> well, you know. You know what I mean? And some of, the, some like... of us aren't blessed with the comforts of an open view swimming pool with a, with a sauna and so and all <laughs> the surroundings that, like, that everyone thinks that might be occurring through the podcast world are not happening. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? It's a funny old time to be working. Yeah, it? yeah, yeah, definitely, man, definitely. Brother, look. I got a lot of messages from people when I mentioned that you were going to come on the show. 
Okay. For, first of all, it was the about time to kind of kind of tone to the text. But but people that aren't necessarily into graph street art, they know of you and your artwork, which I w- I took as like, all oh, right, you know what I mean? Because yeah, 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 yeah. very cool. few people, you know attract and climb that com- commercial ladder like that but still hold a, a, you know a, a heavy degree of integrity you know what i mean yeah 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 i know what you mean yeah i mean you know obviously that integrity is really important to me you know when you said like commercial ladder first of all i'm like for me the word commercial is like ah cuz i don't yeah. do much commercial work. No, not when in the commercial. Com- yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, from an audience the, point. Yeah, of view. yeah. I mean, but obviously, I do paint a lot on the street, yeah. so people see my work and obviously they recognise it. Not from a it's... product point of view. I yeah, mean, no, from, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, you know, um, so being authentic to uh, to my roots and and uh, to the sea. You know, if you call no, in this day and age, what do you call yourself? People say you're a street artist, but how many people are actually out there painting on the street every week? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Not many of them. No. So definitely yeah. authentic in that respect. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Legit. So whether it's freezing cold like right now, whatever, I'm, I'm still out there, mm. you know, doing stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? For free, on the streets, for the community, for people. Yeah, yeah. Not getting paid, you know what I mean? And I Just think- doing shit for... To inspire people. Yeah, you know what I mean? people, they so. think they miss the marker a lot of times where they see these one hit, one off situations where you've got to be like, oh, that's got to be a corporate, quote unquote corporate thing. But people don't operate like that. If you're passionate and you love the thing you're doing, you're just out there all the time. You're not yeah, even yeah, thinking yeah. about, it's just, it's it's habitual, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but that's the funny, that's when you're, when you're doing stuff like that on the streets. Yeah. That's the funny thing. People are not from, you know, they're kind of, from that kind of scene or from that way of thinking, and like, what you're not you're doing this for free? Why would you do that? <laughs> so you always get, get. What do you mean you're not getting paid? I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> it's not all about money, man. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, man. You know, money's important, but I'm doing I'm doing this for, you know, yeah. for to to inspire kids, next generation, to inspire yeah. people who don't go to art galleries and stuff. That's what mm. that's what street art is, really. Yeah, that's right. Do you know and I mean? uh, individuality, that's the other thing that's super important to pump into the psyche of upcoming, you know, graph writers and artists, street artists, you know. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. You hold such a... I mean, even prior to, to the um, uh, realism, uh, you know, the, the, the characters that, and p- people that you kind of morph and make it... It's almost like funk. It's <laughs> like this whole kind of funk style that you got. Uh even your writing, you know, was very individualistic. At yeah, its yeah, own yeah, thing, yeah, 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 of course, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. you know, like for me, that was one of the most important, um, you know, kind of um, cornerstones of graffiti culture as being original. Mm. You know, um, it was about being unique, not mm. biting. You know, that's one of the most important things which Fact, has been yeah. which has been lost <laughs> in recent years so you know ever since i was young that was always i was like right i've got to be different yeah. do you know what i mean so which was a lot easier back then because you didn't have all the social media you couldn't see no. all this, so you weren't literally saturated with other people's work in your face yeah that's, do you know right. what I mean? that's just then <laughs> do you know what i mean so it was easier just to you know, put the subway art aside and just get your sketchbook out and just draw using your own imagination. Yeah, with which the is like, as I mean, yeah. now you say that word imagination to kids these days, and they're like, what? What's that? Yeah, <laughs> What's yeah, yeah. imagination? What's your, what, in my own head? I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? It's like, no, no, not plagiarize. <laughs> we want a vi- So, original. you know, so that's always <laughs> been instilled in me, you know what I mean? It's important, a very important yeah. thing. So that's, that's what, and I've held on to that, you mm. know, and that's why I just kept on pushing and pushing and trying things out till all of a sudden, boom, I got this really unique style, man. You know what I mean? So, and I feel blessed that I got that because a lot of people don't even, you know, it's not easy. Yeah. It's an organic thing. Yeah. You can't just, Mm. you know, say, well, I'm going to get a style. You know, it has to happen through just trial and error and some people never even get there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some people never even get to the point when they've got a recognisable style. Yeah, I feel And it's that. kind of half the effort as being an artist. Once you've got your style, it's like, oh, shit. Mm. I'm kind of almost there now, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, you know. It's interesting so. you say that. Anyway, look, let me just get, get, get catch up <laughs> with anybody that's that's just j- jumping in here and does know, not know about the sense, man. Uh, boy, like, to, to describe his style, I mean, on various mediums uh, across the city, uh, the stylistic colourful, uh, uh, photographic, yet almost got this kind of 
black exploitation f- poster looking crazy graffiti star that you know <laughs> I'm commercialising here, but you know what I'm saying. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, got, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's got a real identity and a real tone and depth to it. Um, you would, uh, you've seen the pictures at the start if you're watching a video. You you know the deal. Where did it all begin, now, brother? Where did it all begin for you? Well, I mean. Um... If we go way, way back, you know, even before Graf, you know, I was always always into art, but, um, you know, I, there was nothing that ever kind of clicked. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. I, 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 again, I, I was very blessed, you know, like my, my, my parents went into art as well and mm. they took me to galleries and stuff. This is like when I was like super young. Do you know what I mean? But, and, and nothing really, I liked it, but, and I was scribbling around the house, but nothing really kind of, you know, mm. grab me, mm. and then obviously, come we're talking early mid eighties, and then the, and then the but you know, and then obviously we have the the classic story, the you know the Bible yeah, yeah. subway art book comes along, mm-hmm. which transforms so many people's careers yeah, yeah, across yeah, yeah. Europe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, wow, you see that book? It's like ah, this is it. You know what I mean? This, this changes everything. This changes everything, and then obviously it wasn't just the book; it was the music. Mm. Starting to listen to Mike Allen on Capital Radio, yeah. and that, and it's like, what is the? Mu- it's the whole culture, isn't it? You know, it's See, the whole talking, culture. When he says Mike Allen, we already know the caliber that we're talking about here. This is like the levels. <laughs> we're, we're only dealing levels here, you know. Um, so you know, it was it was just everything, man. Mm. You know, it was just so fresh and original. The mm. whole culture. You know what I mean? So there was nothing like it. Mm. So that was it, you know, that was it. And then, you know, as you know, with hip hop, people found, chose their path. You were either, you know, mm. you're like, oh, I'm going to be a DJ, I'm going to be a dancer. Yeah. And obviously I was into art anyway. So I was like, right, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm a graffiti artist. That's it. That's my thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, so, I you know, um, and then that, that was it, man. And then once I started, you know, messing around with, with cans, I was just obsessed with, Aerosol art, I suppose. Do you know what I mean? You know, it was like just just messing around with cans, different techniques and stuff. Mm. That was my thing, you know? It was... Some people were like, right, I'm into the bombing. You know, my thing yeah. was, you know, so when I, I say graffiti, I call myself a graffiti artist yeah. rather than a writer. That's the ticket. Yeah? Mm. Because I was more interested in doing full pieces, full mm. colour. Do you know what I mean? There mm. were things that really... It was like, mm. I want to do that. Mm. I want to do letters, characters, you everything, backgrounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to. I want, so even from an early age, I was always trying techniques and always trying to, you mm. know, like mastering the shine and stuff like that. So my work's always been about techniques. Do you know what I mean? Which, if you look at my stuff now, you can see. Yeah, so thousand you know I mean? percent. So many so, questions, man. I got so, so many questions. So that's why it's always been about the art of the spray can, which yeah. I've been really focused on do you know what I mean for sure when um, when you okay right again I've got a lot of questions here on this so <laughs> specifically tailored to you alright so when you when you um, ad- adopt uh, a certain medium like graph and I'm only asking you this because of the con- like I said the contrast and depth and styles that you bring it's almost like you're using the spray can it's like going from acoustic to electric and you're experimenting with the different um, parameters within the, 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 the use of, of, of paint in the same way a guitarist would. He would fuck with the amp, give the amp some distance to the mic, turn up the fucking gains on, there, on the amp. Yeah, yeah, then you've yeah. got all the kind of knobs and buttons and, you know, wah-wahs, et cetera. You're doing it in the same context. You're using, um, uh, you're using various techniques yeah. that create that atmospheric background then you're getting really into the details of like, yeah. did, was this like a transferable skill that you had seen growing up, going to those exhibitions, or <clears throat> was it anything that you were doing at school that you were like, ah, oh, I can do that with with spray paint? No, not really. There wasn't one like one particular artist or one particular thing that I'd seen. You know, it was I was always in. You know, I was always interested in looking at lots of different artists and and kind of techniques. So, you know, um, which was an issue because there were so many, you know, there, there was obviously, if I look back now, there's still similarities, you know, mm. like I was always, when I was doing, you know, out, I found some outlines the other day from like super early outlines from when I was like eight or nine years old, you know, and mm. there was, there were still little bits in there, like, you know, like the, um, oh man, I'm trying to think what it was, but you know, just like the details and the really straight lines and, uh, mm. 
you know. Um, so there's little bits that have continued through, you know, in mm. my art career. But um, really, it's just about, you know, because there was a point where I did everything, you know. I was mm. like doing realism, then I could do wild styles. And, mm. you know, what, what do they say, kind of... Um, Mark, was it? What's the kind of that, that saying about being? A I'm mark? not going to say it on this podcast, on. but I know ah, what you mean because you it's know not what fucking I'm true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, and I never really, I never really found my thing, you know. So then, it, and so then, my my style was basically all of a sudden just combining all of those influences and and um, you know mm. uh, experiences together, mm. and they just clicked together like a melting pot, mm. and it just all of a sudden it just worked. And you again, know, just so. going going back to what people go through in their creative journey, a lot of people don't have those kind of epiphanies like that, where all of a sudden, you know, synergy brings yeah, all yeah, these yeah, elements yeah. that you're fond of or really good at. Yeah. And it happens. Yeah. What was that like when you suddenly were like, oh, this is the platform for me. This is the medium for me. And I couldn't Yeah, do yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, I mean, when I first started, um, you know, when I first started doing the, uh, the faces, you know, mm. I mean, I, I'd always been interested in, you know, portraits, but, you know, they're always been, it's, they're difficult, man. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I yeah. remember when I first, you know, I'd been doing pieces for a long, long time and they mm. were, my pieces were pretty abstract. Do you know what I mean? They were pretty, <laughs> they were pretty crazy, my wild style pieces, man. You know what I mean? I, with the ones I've seen over the, over the years, symmetrical. Always yeah, there was a lot of symmetry. Yeah, that's yeah. what. Yeah, there was a lot of symmetry going on and stuff. A lot of uh, heavy um, use of patterns and yeah, just to yeah, love yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, love it. Yeah, yeah. But you know, it was quite a niche thing. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And a lot of people were like, "Whoa!" Mm. You know, they just couldn't get their heads around mm. it. Do you know what I mean? It was like it was almost too advanced. You couldn't. Do you know read what I mean? Entirely. It was almost too advanced. Yeah, yeah. You, you had know to know I mean? that the style of the, the yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. You were but that's what wild style was about, anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Standard. You need to know the culture. That's what I love. That's what I love about Wildstyle. Yeah. Like so to, to read it, it's a code, exactly. Love it. So you know, that's why that was always my thing. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But um, but it was it was very it was so far you know it was so futuristic and so out there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I got to the point where I was like, you know, just wanted a bit more appreciation. I thought I got to try something a little bit different. Do you know what I mean? But still keeping that element you know what i mean still keeping that so uh, i started doing the faces and then you know having the kind of wild style letters in the background mm -hmm. and you know and then i did and then one day you know um someone said to me shit man because that's that's different man yeah. you need to stick with that do yeah. you know what i mean and, then, and i was like okay okay and that was it just needed someone to tell me you know they saw it on the street and they were like whoa that's crazy you know what i mean yeah. you got something there yeah. You know what I mean? And then that was it. And then after that, I was like, right, okay, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go I'm gonna for do it. More I'm going to go thing, for it. Yeah. When somebody, you know, it's like, all right. And then that was it. Yeah. Then it just started blowing up, man. I just started painting loads and loads. I was painting on the street in London like two, two three times a week. You know, I was going crazy for a few years, man. Yeah. And that's what you got to yeah. do. You got to put it in. You got to, you got to do. You got to put the work in, man. Yeah. People always say that to me. Oh, how do you, you know, how did you get to that level? It's like, well, just work yeah <laughs> it's just sim simple just hard it's, work ain't no you know ain't no shortcut again man mm. you just gotta put the graft in man. yeah you know what I mean? the amount so, of times it, you know that is like the that's that 70 yeah, percent yeah of yeah. the it's the work rate it's how far you turn it around because um you know uh talent is is the is is um sub Subjective, yeah. but uh, uh, quantity is undeniable, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go, yeah. go, 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 go. Yeah. Uh, and I just want to stick on your style, man, because, and again, I urge people to check it out. I'm, I'm not talking about it anyway, this is an international artist here, but but for real. Uh, the, the use of atmospherics and combined with the way in which you use the, the use of colours within the characters and the, the energy within the, 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 the detail in the characters. Yeah. It's like there's an energy to it that's yeah. really hard to I put mean, across, the man. Well, yeah, I mean, the energy... Well, a lot, you know, a lot of the energy that comes from the hip hop culture thing as well, and it comes from music, man. Mm. You know, not a lot of people know. I'm, I'm a DJ as well, so oh, you know, on. so you know, music is very, very important. And you can, if you look at my work, you can see the rhythm, you can see the music. Yes, that's right. Do you know what I mean? So that's where the funk comes from. Yeah, that's where the funk is. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, man. So you know, 
the, the, the two go hand in hand. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So uh, when I'm when I'm painting, I have to have music on. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So and that kind of get lost in the kind of in the vibe. And so there's that that creates that kind of soul, that soul to my pieces. You yeah. know what I mean? And the kind of you know and um, and you know I, I want you know when you look at my pieces because when I'm painting them, I get lost in a work because it's all when I paint, it's all freestyle. What? So I don't have uh, it's all in my head. So which when I'm no, doing when pre, I'm no doing, pre paper nothing. Just 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 the photograph. Just so I have the reference image. The rest of it is in my head. Everything. So I like I break it down in my head. And even on the big murals, even on like hundred and fifty foot high, that's the way I work. When people see me working on they're they're like they're looking at me like I'm completely mad. They're like, Where's your design? I'm like, It's up here, man. They're like, No. Don't be your joke winding me up. I'm like, no. <laughs> so people can't can't get with that. They can't understand it. And then you know, once they realise that, they're like, wow. You know what I mean? But I can't work any other way because that's again, that's my graph roots. That's how you you know. Okay, you might have a little rough outline, but you have to freestyle, man. Okay, right. So because I only know like a few people that do that yeah, on a yeah. level on a. This side of the pond level, I think. Um, well, there's not many people who do it anywhere <laughs> in the world. Okay. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Which is why... I've been, I've been to festivals, there's been like 50 artists. I've been mm. the only one not projecting. That's you know mad. I mean? And everyone's like, that's oh, just you're the, the guy who doesn't project. Yeah. Should, surely it should be the other way around. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? To my knowledge, <laughs> only, the only other person I know that is... I, I don't think Arrow. I think Arrow... Kind yeah, of, yeah, he's Gen. And same. we're from the same... Yeah, from yeah. the same... Time, same school, man. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, so, I've got so... Because yeah. uh, so, we're going to get... And that's it. such an important thing, free, being able to freestyle, I think. But without question. That's yeah, your yeah. battle instinct. That's your battle instinct. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Another thing lost, though. You know what I mean? Well, maybe not. And you'd be surprised. No, 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 no. But, you know, you'd be surprised because there's even quite a lot of... Really? ...old school dudes. And you're like, let's, you know, let's do it. And they're like, oh, you know, they... I'm just blown away that that is... That is on every piece that I've ever seen of yours, Instagram or wherever, you're, it's always... Yeah, every stuff. every piece is completely original, you know? That's can't. That's um, a lot of people think, because I do a lot of black and white drawings as well, they think that they're the kind of that's just drawings, style. but it's no, nice. that's just me just, you know, just freestyling on paper. But um, it's the I just have the a photograph and then the rest is... That's whatever happens. And that's, again, you know, for me, it's almost like... Um, so uh, uh, however big the wall is, it's like uh, how, I, how I work on kind of canvas. And so every piece is a new adventure. Do you know what I mean? That's what keeps it interesting. Because if you're just copying something mm. and you see some people painting at the wall and they've got every colour marked out, it's like, that must be boring, man. It is a bit filling the gaps. It must be boring. It? You know, for me it's fun because it's like you don't know what's going to happen. It's like, you know, mm. that's the whole... Fun part of it. Right, I'm going to have to get... In, <laughs> you know what, mate? I'm going to have to get into this in a, in a proper... Because, again, there's going to be people that are, are very familiar with your work that that, that, that aren't that aren't entirely integrated in, <clears throat> in the hip-hop graffiti way of thinking. Right, so how do you break down in proportion what you're seeing mentally, seeing on the paper, getting on a wall that could be, like you say, six to ten foot? How do you well, get that? Well, of course, you know, like, it's so... When you're scaling it out, there's... Tri well, you've got to remember, if, if, if you've grown up doing graffiti, you know, you've, you've learned your draftsman skills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Because, you know... You're no longer the prospect. You've learned, you've, you know... Working out how big each letter is and stuff like that, yeah. you know, trying to fit your piece in a production. Mm. Whereas everyone, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All these little things. So you've so already you know some basic tricks yeah, 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 yeah. of where to place something on the wall. Yeah. You know? Um, so that's already my basic skills there. Then there's, you know, as you, you know, painting big walls are, are another whole beast. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the a whole murals, another level, yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, you pick up, there's little tricks you pick up, do you know what I mean? Of yeah. course, to get it in the, the, to scale it up and stuff mm. like that, you know. Mm. I use little kind of rough grids and stuff. You know, you have to when you're doing faces because mm -hmm. they've got to be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. You can't have... It's no good having a wonky face, man. <laughs> especially... <laughs> you know, which, especially which obviously when I started, there was lots of wonky faces. But, you know, um, so there's there's little tricks like that. But mm. um, in terms of, um, like you say, in terms of like breaking it down and, and, and just getting busy, it, 
that that's where the the image comes in. So I spend a lot of time looking at photographs, mm. you know, and it's the the photograph is like the first inspiration. So I'm looking for unusual kind of, um, you know, unusual kind of lighting, yeah. unusual angles, you know, and I look at a lot of, I, I don't take my own photographs. I do sometimes, but mainly I work with photographers. That's cool. So I'm looking through stuff and I, then I hit them up on Insta, I say, look, I love your stuff. Can I use this image? Brilliant. And then I just tag them in and we share it. You know what I mean? That's we what it should it. be. Exactly. So, um, Big shout out to those photographers as well. They don't yeah, get enough course, credit, man. man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're out there getting them, you know, because a lot of writers don't bother doing it. They just take things and then they're gone. You know, but <laughs> yeah. to get a professional shot, you know. Yeah, yeah, so definitely, really cool. man. Definitely, you know. So, um, and then once I've got that, you know, I can almost, it's almost like when I look at something, I almost just automatically break it down. I've got like a Spider-Man That's kind of brain, mad. you know, where it's like, I just break it down into this mad kind of psychedelic <laughs> in yeah. my head. You know what I mean? I can just see the shapes, the graph shapes in a, in a picture. Do you know what I mean? That's why, I, you know, with the feet, I say all about the cheekbones and stuff mm. like that. Because it's... Is that where so you start? Is, it, is there a starting point with the faces and... Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, definitely, man. As I say, it's got to be a little bit unusual. A little bit, you know, I don't do straight on normally. Mm. I do kind of side angles, and I do look for those letter shapes mm. in in the portraits. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you just can't escape it. Once if that's your, you know, that's how you've started, and that's your roots. Letters will always be with yeah. you, man. It's like, <laughs> I'm, it's I'd like, love to have oh, a man. It's crazy. You, start you can't breaking, get away from it. <laughs> when you start break, when you start breaking down that, when you see the picture for the first time, and you start breaking down. I kind of want a David Attenborough narr narration moment inside your head right now. Senses really <laughs> calibrating. One day that'd be the technology to be yeah. able to. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> what about colours though? So from a colours point of view, uh, you know. <clears throat> wow, well, that's. Okay, so obviously, again, there is there is definitely a link to the, um, you know, early graph kind of mm. stuff, you know, mm. mixing those kind of colours which just shouldn't go together, mm. like pinks and oranges. Which is because, fucking great. I <laughs> love about graph, man. But, you know, and that was because, like, that was you basically, you had to get paint, yeah. <laughs> however means, yeah, yeah. and you didn't know what colours you were going to get and you had to make them work. Yeah, yeah. So that's... Uh, that's that kind of thing. So I've always had that fascination with making colours that just shouldn't go together mm. work. Mm. But not many people can do it, and it takes a long time. Again, many, many years to all of a sudden... I mean, I mean so many years of, like, remember sitting there, you know, trying to pick colours for a piece. It's like, ah, oh, this is hard. Yeah. Man. And again, it's just one day, it's just like, all of a sudden it just clicked. It's like, ah, oh, you know what? I know what to do now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to give that secret away, but no, <laughs> no there's certain things that we can... <laughs> you've got to learn yourself. Yeah, that's right. Learn you, learn yourself. God damn it. Uh, I, but I, I get you. But it's hard. I can, yeah, to well, use question, so many colours because I use. I can imagine, man. When I'm, I'm used like sixty different bloody colours or whatever. Mm. It's crazy. Yeah. It's hard, and it's a bit. It's a bit. You know, confusing at times. Is it like a, it's like a, you know, a spaghetti incident? Yeah, in it is. Yeah, yeah. That's the hardest thing. When you start a mural, it's getting the colours right. It takes a couple uh, of days to get the, to get the whole kind of, uh, the flow of the colours right, uh, you know? Here's a question for you, actually, mainly because we all go through it. Have you ever got to that point in the piece where you're just like, shit, man, I don't even know, oh, hold on, I've, I've really misjudged this colour scheme of, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time. <laughs> <laughs> every time, because I'm mean, like every time. So you're the first, yeah, yeah. So the first, I mean, you know, the first day or two, it's like, oh, what am I doing? This is not working. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Then just, then it just, then it comes, then it comes. But that, yeah, that takes confidence. Like mm -hmm. this, I'm back to the freestyle thing. Mm -hmm. It takes many, many years to have the confidence to be able to freestyle, especially on a big scale. Mm, yeah, you know, it yeah. doesn't happen overnight, man. You know what I mean? Mm. And um, and it is really that's what it's about. Yeah, it's about confidence, and it's about you know years and years of practice, repetition. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let me get you the bottle opener because you've got. Yeah, that. man. Oh, sorry, sorry. This will be position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of fucking. But I saw it. I was like, hang on, I'm in it. Sorry, just had to get a bottle opener. My bad. Bad hosting, Kells. Um, the uh, yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a mad one when when you think about the dynamics and ways in which these things come together, like the colours with the the energy and movement of the 
of the picture you're doing. Like, anyone can do a still thing, but when you give it that, that edge of, like, that's moving somewhere, that's, that's an, there's an energy in it, you know, that's a really hard thing to put across and to freestyle that as well. But then maybe that's what creates the energy. Yeah, of course. It has to have that spontaneity. Do you know what I mean? It has to have that. You can't design that on a computer. You can't design that mm. energy. Mm. It's just not going to work. It's not mm. going to be authentic. Again, back to being authentic. Mm. When you look at it, it's just not going to look. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just, and, it, and, um, and it's the same with music as well. You know you know when something's just been done off the cuff when something's freestyle. Yeah. You can feel it. You can hear it. Yeah. Whether, whether we're talking yeah. about hip hop, we're talking about you know yeah. rhymes, or yeah. we're talking about techno or anything, you yeah. can tell when something's just got that loose flow and just been. You can, I, I I think you can tell. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? So you know, that's, and it's the same same with art, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what I love about graph and the medium in which it's on is like the street. It's raw. People are watching you. You're you're doing the thing live. You know that's that in itself is a movie. Yeah, 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 you know? yeah, 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 yeah. But the outcome, the final thing, you know, it's it's there in the raw, mm. and there's nothing else like that. Is there? Yeah, man. Nothing else. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. That's it, man. That's it. That's what it's all about. <laughs> What's your influences? What are your influences? Um. Well, of you know, of course, there's there's all of the you know London kind of mm. graph. Graph guys, you know what I mean? Mm. The Chrome Angels, obviously. <laughs> obviously. <laughs> you know, you can't not be influenced by them if you come from London. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Oh. And then it's obviously the, the, the guys that didn't get so much re recognition, non-stop artists. Oh, yeah, of course. There's so many crews, man. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's so many crews. So, I've, you know, and I was lucky. I lived... You know, I was in South East London, but I could I could get the train up into London. You know, mm. I was like it was twenty minutes to Victoria mm. from where I lived, so so I I was able to go and see you know like Covent Garden those places mm. as a young kid. Oh, so you were there yeah. when it was yeah yeah up? yeah. I'm, I was I wasn't painting, but I was you know I was like watching, eight years yeah. old. I was watching, that so I could go and man. do that. You yeah. know what I mean? Which was amazing mm. to live near London. Yeah. You know what I mean? And been able to do that. So um, you know that that's. They're the obvious influences. But then, obviously, at the same time, there's obviously all the New York stuff because mm. everybody was influenced by that. So, mm. it would, in, again, in the Bible, you know. But um, in particular, there was, you know, like Dondi, you know, because he was doing a little bit of different stuff as well, mm. you know. He was one of the first people I saw when he was doing his canvas work when he was actually using, like, bits of card and tape and stuff, mm. you know. So he was using that. Too, back, yeah. you know, uh, he was using stuff like that back in, in the early 80s, you know what I mean? Mm. So, um, which is why, it, you know, when people get a bit funny, oh, you use tape and stuff, I was like, man, come on, people have been messing around with stuff like that for years. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? From the beginning. Tweaking so, that amplifier, moving you know those I mean? speakers and Yeah, mics, exactly. Yeah. It's just that, you know, you're still using spray paint, it's just another little yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, um so, yeah, so they're the kind of obvious kind of graph influences. And then, um, you know, I, I spent a lot of years, because I, I went to art college in Croydon, and I did a lot of, um, spent a lot of years doing kind of abstract painting, you know. So, nice. um, <clears throat> when you, and you can see, again, you look at my work, you can see a lot of the, with a lot of negative space and stuff, you know. I love my abstract stuff, mm. you know, as well. That's one of the you things that, I, that, that gravitated me to this stuff was the, the, <clears throat> the way in which the, yeah, the use of space... Yeah, and that they're abstract. The, yeah, it's yeah. just the flares and the the, the atmospherics that you create. Um, yeah, and that and that is um, from years of of looking at abstract work, you know. So um, and painting it as well. So that that's a love of mine, you know. And I always I always think, you know. So eventually, I'll get bored of the faces, you know. And I think, you know, really, I'm an abstract kind of painter. Really, mm. that's what you know. But you can't, you know, you and that influenced my letters as well before, you know, they were sure. quite abstract as well. So space has always been important, composition, space, mm. you know, that's... Uh, yeah. so, so I spent many years, you know, exploring different kind of um, mm. techniques and, and mediums and stuff like that when I was at college, you know, so... Um, and you're into graphics, you like, you know... Not I say I've never been into graphics, man. Interesting. I'm not, I'm not, a, you know, most graffiti artists... 
became like graphic designers, man. <laughs> yeah. I was like, no, no, I've never into computers. Nice so yeah. I'm like super old school, which is a bit difficult now because, you know, people want full on colour designs of murals and stuff. And I'm like, dude, you best you're going to get is like a little yeah. <laughs> sketch. You're fucking with the wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, no, so I, I wish I had learned graphic design, but um, that's not my thing, no. There's something to be said, though, and, and this definitely holds true to your, <coughs> your style and technique. Um, I guess it kind of mirrors a, 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 an 80s approach to sci-fi. Like, now, with the technology being so on point, it doesn't leave much of the imagination to fill in the blanks. You know, when you see an 80s horror flick, it's almost like, first of all, how the fuck did some... Why would someone make something so gross? But it's almost like the Jaws effect, where you don't actually see the shark, but you know it's there. And there's something about, you know, your work that the kind of... The energy of it and the, the, just the, the way in which you approach it, there is a, a subtleties that allow the mind to fill in the blanks. Do you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, But, I mean, uh, that's for me, that's what art is for. Art, you know, like, it's, it's not just copying mm. what you see, mm. you know? It's creating something different, a different interpretation. Mm. You know, that's why I hated art college, because it was like... You know, or even art at school, because it was like, you know, I want you to draw this fruit bowl exactly as it is. You know, mm. it was always about who could draw the most realistic. When I was like, no, that's not yeah. art for me. That's what a camera's one. for. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? That's what. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what a camera's for. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to look at something and just get transported. That's right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. and that's what I try and create in my work. Mm, for you sure. You know, you look at it and you drift off. You're, mm. in, a, you're in another realm. You're in a dream world. Mm. You know, you're escaping reality. You know. Yeah. So, um, and that's what I've always tried to create, you know, and, and that's and that's what I want to see when I look at a picture. And I want it to take at, me yeah. somewhere. And Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Not like, oh, that's that's a nice, you know, yeah, picture exactly. of, uh, I don't know, a, a hill or something. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's I like, you. and that's why I never got on with traditional art teaching mm. because of that. Yeah. You know? You they they were like, work. you know, you need to know. I remember they were like, you know, you need to know exactly what you're doing. It's almost like you had to write an essay about something before you've even painted it. And I was mm. like, no, I don't know what I'm doing until I'm painting it. Yeah. It's all part of the process. Uh, and they were like, no, you can't think like that. I was like, I don't... That's... I think I'll fucking want. Yeah, <laughs> it's <laughs> like, no, man, you know, yeah. it, it, it's... That's what I'm saying, you know, that's the freestyle thing again, isn't it? Mm. You know? Yeah. That's do, the freestyle thing. Do you think thing. those... those, those uh, Markings of like to do's and what to do's in schooling and teaching and especially graphics now, like they're actually they're rules made to be broken. If you yeah, ain't breaking yeah, them, yeah, then yeah, there's yeah. a problem. Exactly, exactly. That's true. That's true. That's true. Mm. Um, but it can put you off from yeah, an early yeah. age. They can really put you off because they think know? that that's it's the same with music, isn't it? So you can't really tame the arts. Can no, you? no. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's interesting, man. It's interesting. How do you, know? you feel about the? Uh, Actually, let me let me rephrase that because I think we all have the same opinion of it, good and bad. But um, there's something about when you see graphically, you see your piece on a photo. Uh, does it give you a third party perspective, seeing it through the lens? When you say, for instance, because I love being in front of a, a piece, you know, yeah, I know yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know I've landed in a city when I see a certain person's piece. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. yo, I'm actually in front of the guy that I've seen on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the one. Um, but but from an artist's point of view, does it help you to have a third party perspective on how 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 electronics see your piece? Um, not really. I mean, you know. I, I create my work, um, again, this is going back to, to, to early kind of influence, you know, I paint my work so, so it looks better in the flesh. Mm, exactly. Not, <laughs> so, you know, which mm. again was, you know, we didn't have photographs or social media about graffiti. You just have to go and find it, mm, mm. you know, and then when you found it, it was like, wow, you like touch the wall and look at the details and stuff like that. I still want that, mm. you know, for people. You should, you know, you should see my wall and it literally knock, you know, mm. blow you away. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, uh, so, you know, some people paint for <laughs> for a screen yeah. and then you get close up and you're like, oh man, that's really scrappy. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, you know, I, mean? I think that's so, you know, for me, it is about 
actually going to see it and, yeah. and feeling it and standing there and, you know. Yeah. Um, so I don't think about... I mean, obviously, you have to think a little bit about the photograph because once you painted a piece, especially on the streets, it can be taken out yeah, quick. overnight. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can do. You know, it's, like, it's a risk. Mm. You're leaving something down the streets. Anything can happen to it. You know, it can yeah. be gone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you do have to... In, you know, have a photograph of it because you've got to have a record of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you do have to think about, you know, what would be a good angle and you do have to yeah. think about the photograph, but it's definitely more about the, you know, seeing it in the flesh, that, that real experience yeah, yeah. for and, me. And I feel what you're saying there, uh, the telltale signs of technique. When, when you stand in front or you get close up to a, a wall, a piece... It separates the men from the boys, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> it's true. She gets and real. I've been disappointed a lot of times. Really? You know, like, by oh, yours they, or other people's? The other people's, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, and you're like, you're like, oh, that looks wicked. And then you get out close and you're like, man, mm. those lines. <laughs> yeah, sloppy. Yeah, sloppy. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. But then you know, once you condense that down to a tiny little iPhone picture. Mm. And it, it looks, looks super good. tight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm staying on this for a second. Right, so... <laughs> and, uh, you know. <laughs> but I'd, I'd, always, I'd always be the last one at the wall, just mm. tightening up the lines mm. and doing all these things. Like, what are you doing, man? I was mm. like, that's important, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? <laughs> How deep the cut goes when you're in... When you're in the, the, the piece, you're in it. It's there. You're, you can't see. You got like ten foot above you. You got left and right, and you're right in the cut of this one thing, and you're matching piece by piece the the, the detail and quality of each area. Does that not bamboozle you at any point? No, I mean, of course, you know, some bits are gonna be looser. You know, because that's all yeah. part of the freestyle thing. You know, mm. you get some nice loose bits. Because it's about contrast, man. You can't just have one whole piece all the same energy. You know, mm. you have to like have like it's about having the negative space, some mm. really loose bits, some really tight bits. So you know, mm. it's just about balancing the energies mm. on the wall. You know, and then there's so the energy of the doing it as well. When you're there, and how risky the event of you doing it is, as well. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Of course. I mean. Um, you know, that's what, again, what people don't think about, especially in the big walls, you know, you're you're up on these big lifts or whatever, you're operating it yourself. Mm. I mean, you know, and then you're having to... And, and you know, I've been... situations have been... You've been, like, crazy high, just flying around in the wind on this thing. It's, you know, it's... Fuck all you're that. thinking is death thoughts. <laughs> and then you've got to create this, like, beautiful piece. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's a weird juxtaposition. Do you know yeah. what I mean? It's Beautiful like, fear. Yeah, 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 exactly. And yeah, it's crazy. I've been in some crazy situations, you know. And um, what's the craziest situation you've been in? in well, those... that um, there was a particular one in New York when it was like, yeah, it was crazy high, and it was really, really difficult. And it was just, um, I was just on my own up there, and it was freezing cold. The wind was bashing around, and I was up. Oh, I had a real tight schedule. It was just super stressful, man. You know what really? I mean? Stressful and as in like things were moving and you need... It just, yeah, just what it was the highest I'd ever painted before. How high? Um, so... How it, high was it? It, it, was, it was probably about 100, yeah, it was about 150. So um, it was it was high. That is, that is at the top point, you know? So, scaffolding? Um, was it scaffolding? No, no, so it was on a, on a, um, a uh, cherry picker. Ooh. So, yeah. So, you're, you know, you're basically... In a cage, you're looking down, you've got this tiny, thin little arm just holding you up. You know, it's not just, just like moving around. You know, these things are safe. Obviously, this machine costs thousands, but still, you've still oh, got these crazy yeah. thoughts, man, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's just the pressure, everything, you know. It's not a fun experience. No, and you, are you controlling the cherry picker from and up you're there? you're controlling it as well, yeah, yeah. Yo, so and then you can get into situations, like I actually got into a, a situation at one point where I crushed my hand up against the wall, about 100 foot up, man. And I was on my own, and I just missed my knuckles. I could have broken my hand. And <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like, and I had to get myself down. And What, up at 100 feet? You yeah, 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 yeah. Just because I went too close, because it was a real tight turn to get to the wall, man. 
you know, and then and then I press the and then you start to panic, yeah. And I'd have my hand trapped against the wall because I was holding onto the side, which is stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you start to panic, and then you forget how to control it. Yeah, of course you do. And then yeah. I pressed it closer to the wall to crush it even more because I was panicking. I pressed it the wrong way, and it crushed it even more. And I was literally like yelling. Yeah, yeah. And no one could hear me, obviously. And then I had to work it. Literally, just get my hand. I just missed my knuckles, and I was halfway through this mural, man. If I had broken my hand, that would have been. It. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, anyway, yeah. that was not nice. Please don't, let, please, please don't let me go out like this. But that was <laughs> like after 10 days of, of not having a break, 10 days of painting, really? 10, 12 hours Up every day. You know, so th when you're talking about it's the physical element of doing those big balls, people don't think about. So it's not wow. just mentally, physically, it's yeah. testing. Do you know what I mean? So. I wouldn't even begin <laughs> to imagine, but I fully appreciate it. You just don't put those things into consideration um and when you talk about perspective and you're up against the elements and all of a sudden that happens and you know all the other variables that you know you don't ever put you don't ever think when i'm going to start as a self-employed artist that these were going to be the scenarios that would play out you just would you no 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 of course not but then you know at the same time it's you know i like to kind of challenge myself and I wouldn't have been happy kind of, you know, hanging up my boots as an artist unless I had tried to do or had mastered mur doing murals at that scale. For real. Do you know what I mean? That was like the next step for me. It's like, right, okay, now I need to take those pictures so that, to that scale, you know. So, um, and I'm still, you know, still trying to learn the art of, of you know, creating murals. That's you know, what I it's Yeah, yeah. But it's, but it, it's fun. It creates your stamina, it's though. Fun. When yeah, you do, yeah. The more you do things like that and you come out the other side, that's just stamina building. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, it had to be done. These are, <laughs> it had these to are, be done. These, these are international artist dilemmas. You know I mean? We're talking <laughs> to an international artist here. It's fucking great. Um, but when you did start as uh, going down that road, you know, what was the what was the jump like? Did you feel it coming that it was it was on its way that you you wanted to make a commodity out of what you were doing, and and you knew that the 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 road to this place was going to be rough, and the naysayers and the the, the yeah. pressures on you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, to be honest, you know, I, I put it off for many years. You know, actually being fully submerged as just doing, just doing my art, you know? So mm. I'd put, I, you know, and I spent many years kind of, um, I had a company, we were doing like workshops with kids. So nice. I've always been doing art, but not my own art, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, um, so um, yeah, we were one of the first companies doing, doing work graph workshops. So that's always, you know, the community stuff is always a, a passion of mine, yeah. working with young people. For sure, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So um, I did that for many, many years, and then I'd just be painting the legal walls and stuff at the weekend. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. I'm still doing my own thing, yeah. but not, not full time, you know? Mm. And then, um, you know, increasingly I was like, you know, I felt, I just didn't, I felt like I, I needed to, mm. there was something was missing, you know? I always knew that I'd never be happy unless I, gave my own art, you know, a real, you know, a real try. Worst you know? thing is regret, in it? You've got to do exactly. it. Exactly. And then kind of things happened at the right time. Like, so we were working with a lot of youth centres and stuff. Mm. Uh, and then the Conservatives came into power and just killed all of the youth centres. I don't want to get political either because that's just going to make me miserable. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> Especially this time of the, so, of the, of the uh, life. You know, which was shit. Mm. So, you know, all of our work, almost my, my company just almost Dried vanished up. overnight, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? Um, which was really sad, do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Sure. But then I was like, right, what am I going to do? I was like, okay, this is it. Mm. Mm. This is it now. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm just going to, I'm just going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. Stabilize and it was off. tough, man, because yeah. I was at a point, you know, when you get older in life, it's more and more difficult because mm. you have more and more things you have to pay out for, more and more responsibilities. Mm. Yeah. By that point, I've, I've got I've got two kids. Yeah. I live in London. I'm like, shit, this ain't going to be easy, but I've got to do it. 
and that's and then I just so you know, and we were doing a few little bits here and there, so it wasn't like completely mm. jumping off a cliff. It was, do you know what I mean? It was a transition. Yeah, it wasn't like completely jumping off a cliff, obviously, you know. And I was doing, I had lots of contacts. I was doing little jobs for other people. Yeah, you know, like doing solar stuff, like painting someone's logo and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, but you know, so it was like a gradual kind of thing. But yeah. and then eventually, I was like, no, I'm not doing any commercial stuff. I'm just going to do my thing. And that's the top. When you make that decision, you say, "Right, I'm not going to do any commercial work. Mm. I'm just going to do my style, what I want to do." That yeah. that's when it all becomes nothing. really tough. All or nothing. Yeah, yeah. And well, that, it, you know, if you don't mind me asking, but I had to do it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, well, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here now. Probably there'll be a whole different kind of set of uh, parameters that you work by. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what what were the immediate L's you hit? What were the first things you were just like, "Fuck, okay, we just got." Them. The stabilizers are off. I'm doing my own thing. But what was the first <coughs> thing from a from a not just a not just from a personal from a family from a uh, from a uh, f- supplies point of view? I mean, you know, you, you, you something always forfeits. What was the first hit? I think it's like um, just you know, there's there's so many elements to what I do now. You know, like selling canvases, like the whole kind of gallery game and stuff. That's a that's a minefield. Mm. You know, and I didn't know many, you know, because most of my, my friends were kind of graph writers. They hadn't transitioned, do you know what Damn I mean? It, yeah. So I didn't know many people who transitioned into this other world, mm-hmm. you know. So, um, you know, it was quite like, how, how do you do that, man? Do you know what I mean? How do you deal with these people? So it's the business side of it. Mm. It's the business it, yeah. element of it. Yeah. How do I turn what I do, keep integrity, but still to, but turn it into a business? That is, and that's something I'm still learning now. You know, um, that's and so that hard is for tough. Me. And you know, and I was I was whipped off a few loads of times. And I started off with the galleries, you know, like work going missing, uh, just loads of stories. But then, yeah. when you start to meet people and you start to travel, everybody's had those similar experiences, mm. man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's started out. Yeah. Was that there resi- was there resistance from a, a scene point of view? I mean, this is, this is the age old deli- dilemma of like. Um, giving as much as you can to a, a culture you love and uh, appeasing certain aspects of, of, of that, but then this, you, you've got to try and somehow find your commodity or else, you, you know, you're not winning either way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, um, yeah, of course, you know, well, you know the, 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 that whole kind of graffiti, street art kind of thing, you know. Mm. It's like sell out kind of thing. It's like, oh, man. It's getting better, you know? though. I must admit. I, I, hope, I hope so, yeah. you know. I mean, um, again, it depends. You go to a certain place in London and everything's dogged out and stuff. Mm. But you go to other places and it's respected. So yeah, it's it really one. varies in London, doesn't it? You know, yeah. where you go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I, I mean, I hope it's getting better because, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're all just trying to... You know, paint walls and create something nice. So I don't. Mm. You know, it's there shouldn't be this whole mm. divide. I don't think. I feel and like I've always fighted against that yeah. divide because I kind of sit on the fence between the two camps. And you've come you through know. the whole. You know what? But Birmingham and Manchester and Bristol. They, they. I'm very. I'm often totally entertained. 360 about the approach. I know writers out there that go hardcore, but then have stickers yeah, and then yeah, do yeah, 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 that yeah. street art. They do the whole thing. Yeah. And I'm yeah, always, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. it just dynamically, it just, yeah. it, it, it shows, it says to people that it, it, it has to be all yeah. skills on a yeah. high level. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. Definitely. That's right. That's right. You know, when you, and you travel to Europe as well, it's the same, you know? Yeah. All high levels, yeah, every yeah. single aspect yeah, yeah, of the yeah, culture. Yeah. I think, to be honest, with this whole kind of beef thing, I think it's mainly East London, to be honest. You know, it's mainly the Shoreditch thing, you know. And there is a lot of shit street art. There has been mm. for years, you yeah. know. And there is, there's a, you know, that's why I started painting around there because I was sick of seeing this shit work, mm, man. Mm, mm, it's mm. like, come on, man. I used to live around You shouldn't there. be painting walls, man. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, should yeah. still be drawing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. man, you know, it's serious, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. It's like, you know. But you're going again, out, you're again, good. that's a graph, you know, if you weren't ready to paint a wall, you know, you didn't paint a wall that's back then. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for I mean, real. You didn't take someone out no. with some whack piece. You learn your skill on mm. paper or in your backyard yeah. or in your local park or something yeah. before you went and went over someone. Yeah, don't you know take it I mean? to that, so that place. Don't take it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, so that's the, that's the thing that kind of annoyed me and probably annoys a lot of people. Mm. 
you know. Do you think that? Yeah. Do you think that uh, that uh, sentiment that you mentioned there that applies to Hall of Fames? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Well, that was that. Was, that's all we had, wasn't it? Hall yeah. of Fames, you know. So um, if you're doing legal stuff, um, so and that was the rule, man. You know, you didn't just you know you didn't take a, a, a burner out with like a chrome. You know, you yeah. had to. You had to burn it. Mm. You had to burn that burner. You had to do something better. Yeah. You know what I mean? That was it. So you were always trying to up your game. You know what I mean? Where do you think that's so, where, where that, that's And that's, again, that's that, you know, progressing and always making an effort, always, you know, that's that still lives in me now. Mm. You know what I mean? Every piece I do, I'm trying to burn the piece I did before. Do you know what I mean? So the it's personal... Like, oh, and then I'm trying to burn the person next to me. Yeah. And try, you know, I'm, I, I come out to battle, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when I'm at a festival, yeah. you know, I'm like, I'm going to rock the baddest wall. Yeah. That's just still... That's the mentality. That's the hip-hop mentality, isn't it? Yeah. Do where, do you, know? where do you think that's gone, <laughs> though, from a from a t- street point of view? Because, like, like you're saying, you go out to burn, you're going out to be Hall of Fame or public... Wherever, wherever, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you think that's still whole? I mean, there are yeah, there's lots of people, of course, killing it, yeah, yeah, of course, of course, man, Mm. yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. You know, there's a lot of good people painting in London right now, really doing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. worldwide as well, yeah, for Mm. sure, for sure. People are people are pushing stuff, man. Yeah, man, you know, scarily so. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly, man, exactly. You know, Um, and that's what it's about. Again, you know, graph was always about pushing forward, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why I get annoyed with the people who kind of stuck with these kind of rules of, of graffiti, mm. which graffiti wasn't really always about rules, I don't think. It was about progressing and moving forward, mm. I think. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Without it wasn't question. about rules. You've got to have arrows in your thing. You've got to have highlights on that side. Yeah. So many people like that, Yeah. particularly in this country, which yeah. is like, nah, man. You know it's what kind I mean? of done, isn't it? <laughs> if you come from if you come from the the the, the manuscripts of the, the the early biblical reference points that we talk about, and you know what the basic principles are, it, it, it's you know with restriction you should be able to create outwardly and just like I, I mean I I feel that way with music for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, yeah, that fits perfectly with music. Yeah, yeah. it's the same thing. Same thing, man. Yeah. Mm. Is there anything you ain't done yet? Is there anything where you're just like, yo, I, <coughs> I need to tackle that, or I may not be quite on par with, I need to progress with that. Anything? Well, like I said earlier, like the kind of digital stuff, you know, I need to teach myself that, man. It's you know, because that's going to <laughs> that's gonna be helpful with, you know, with mm. jobs and stuff, man. I'd love to learn that. It's just finding the time, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, so, yeah, obviously, you know, there's technologies... Um, man, there's loads of stuff being an artist, you know. Mm. I want to go back to loads of stuff as well, you know. Like when I was at college, I was doing loads of printmaking, lino cutting and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. So I'm thinking I need to go back to doing that, mm. doing what I do now, but putting that into yeah. those kind of skills, yeah. sets. So, you know, there's always so much to do if you're inspired. And luckily yeah. I'm still inspired. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's For it. Sure. When you stop becoming inspired, that's a bit, that's when it's like... Yeah, um, you know, and that's that can happen, especially right now. Yeah, uh, when you get it, sometimes it's difficult to be inspired right now. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you got to go back to those, like you say, those previously uh, walked but not quite perfected. Like you say, the the the, the lino cutting, for instance. You're in a very and this is again just just me musing. You're very much on a in a lucky place where. Uh, a lot of graph writers, not all of them, but many of them, rely on the, the subject being their their letters and their name and, yeah. and how how broadly big and however manipulable they can yeah. make those letters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've managed to transfer your style across um, across different uh, different uh, subjects, which in turn, yeah, you could go to Lino. Because, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, definitely. It's definitely, not restricted man. to the name. No, 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 exactly. And what you're saying there, um, you know, is how I felt when I was doing letters. I felt trapped. You know, I was just doing pieces. It was always about just the same four letters. And it, it you can feel really trapped by that, man. Mm-hmm. And that's why I felt I, need to bra- I needed to break out. Do you know what I mean? Because I felt it too confined. Mm-hmm. 
the graffiti scene and the graffiti world. It was too confined for me. Did you ever feel? Did you ever fear that breaking out? Did you ever think to yourself, "Well, you know, is this gonna? Is this?" I didn't work? fear it because I was always kind of doing it anyway, so, but yeah. kind of just. You know, I wasn't yeah. not publicly. Yeah, yeah, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. a college and stuff, I was always experimenting, but yeah. it wasn't wasn't public. Yeah. But so so it was quite, you know, it was quite fearful when I, when I first started doing, you know, doing all those crazy stuff on the walls with mm. the graphic. I'm like, what the hell is that? Because yeah. <laughs> this was what at a time the... again. This was at a time where you it know, just wasn't the thing, was it? Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I did. I had like a, I did a whole I did a whole show. Actually, it was in um the Brick Lane Gallery, and it was like um. When was it, man? It was like early to early two thousand or no, not even. I think it was like ninety eight or something. I can't even remember. And it was, um, it was before street art had got really 90 big. Ninety fucking eight. Can we just get an amen on that if you're out there looking? Give us a like on that. A fucking man. Come on. And I did a whole show, and it was um, so it wasn't graph. Yeah, it wasn't um, graphic art. It was it was I w- it was too ahead of its time, put it that way. Mad. And and um, I've, I, I need to share some pictures of it at some yeah. point. And literally, people I didn't sell one thing, and people were like, "What, what is this, man?" And I remember some people saying to me, "No, you can't be both. You can't be like a, a fine artist and a graffiti artist. You have to choose." And then fast forward ten years, and it's really cool to be. Both. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's like just it's so, it might, it just so frustrating. It's like, man, what are you talking about? You're too to ahead. Choose? You're too and ahead. To, and then, and then all of a sudden, it's cool to be, a, you know, mixing all these things together. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And at the time, people were like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so you know, it, uh, unfortunately, man, it was just a bit too. Yeah. You know, to advance, to advance, man. People's yeah, yeah. people's progress is a slow process, isn't it? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't rush that. If you're too, if you're too ahead of the curve, you know, you don't get a chance to monetize. You become that uh, cult classic. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, inspires yeah. others. You know, New York Dolls. Yeah, <laughs> Do you know what I mean. But that's you know, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool because you know, like for me, I want to inspire other artists. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'd, I'd like to be remembered by other artists as the, the, the guy who was pushing things and doing things mm. something a bit different. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Rather than the general public. Mm. You know, I want to be that that, that guy. Mm. Really, that's more important to me. Keep pushing you know I mean? yourself that then in turn adds value to other people that yeah, yeah, exactly. are influenced by it. Exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. That's coming from somebody, I feel, you know, with age and with understanding... That, that the creative arts is an organism that, that you can't hold, you can't be precious about. You can't be precious about it. No. Yeah. Everything's plagiarised to some degree. Everything's yeah. owned by someone else in some capacity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of uh, course, of course, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, it's getting deep. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> but it's, it's a funny fact, isn't it? Because we all like have this kind of like... There's a there's the demon in us that's just like that's my idea, you know. Da, da, da. Yeah, no, you can't be like that, man. Nah. You can't be like that. I mean, God, that would be crazy. You know mm. what I mean? Mm. We all do like it's saying who you can't say, oh, you can't do highlight, you can't do shines mm. like that. You know what I mean? Mm. It'd be stupid, man, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know, of course, of course. You know, everybody kind of nibbles a little bit, mm. but you know, unfortunately, there's too many artists who. It's again about being original. That they're just like taking. They've got like maybe four artists they really like. They say a little bit from that guy, a little bit from that guy. You know what I mean? And then they just kind of put them together. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like oh, that's you know. It's the take on it, but it's uh, it's kind of a bit that that guy that they go, like, yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also there's the element of burning, like you're saying. Now going back to the athleticism, the competitive side to it, that's the shit. Because if somebody's trying to, you know, grab the coattails. It's like you just gotta come with different signature moves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, man. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. That's it, man. You know. And then obviously, once you've once you've got your kind of style, mm. then you've got to um, hold on to that style and own that style as well. Yeah. Because once you know, in recent years, there's been a lot of people trying to bite my shit. Yeah. But it looks awful. Oh, I didn't want to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I didn't want to say a lot. 
And it's like, you know, so I'm like, right, so I'm always trying to up the gear, mm. making it more and more technical, more and more harder to copy. Mm. You know, so uh, so it's, it's one thing having a style, but it's another thing actually yeah. holding on to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Well, see, Because if you, you, you'd be sleeping one day and all of a sudden someone's just that's taking right. your whole style and all of a sudden they're like, boom. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wait a minute. Hey, I'm still here. And you didn't Uh-oh. see him coming. You ain't remembered, man. Yeah. This other geezer's just take. Yeah. Oh, it can happen if you're sleeping. So that's the thing, you know? Can I ask you something? <laughs> can I ask you something on that very same subject? Because this is something that I'm, I can often be troubled with. Because my girlfriend and family will often testify. Uh, just relentless overthinking, powering through things in a real kind of industrious cookie cutter. I've got to get this right. Perfection is creative. Be your first one over the line kind of guy, and um, uh, and of course, you know that comes with a lot of compassion and, and appreciation for the art and the love of of everything to do with with the with, with whatever it is I'm in. Do do you feel like there is sacrifices that comes when you're uh, in the eye constantly in the eye of the storm as a creative in your own head of what you know the things around you suffer? Because I think with a lot of people, it. it it's the age-old scenario, isn't it? It's... <laughs> yeah, of course, man. I mean, you know, <clears throat> it, it's stressful, man. Especially when you get to um, you get to a certain level and you've got you know people following you and and um, you know it's it's all very well getting to to the certain you know middle kind of ground, but it's actually kind of then you've got to maintain your work at that level. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the difficult bit. Notching up so, each time. Notching up, you know, so mm. people are expecting something better and better or at least that same level every time. Yeah. So it's that pressure. That can be quite intense. For real. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then there's obviously, you know, we have to do this whole social media thing right now, which again, mm. it's just, it's intense, man. You yeah. know, you got to think about that. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I do everything myself, man, mm. pretty much. So that's... Good man. That's... Tough. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Different you know, heads Even going. now on the way here, I was like thinking, oh, I've got to post something. What am I going to post? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like whacking my brain. And I'm looking at loads of old pictures. I'm like, no, I don't even like that anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm like, I, I can take an hour something. in itself. I need to post. So it's that pressure. I've got to keep on doing something new. And yeah. So, you know, it's kind of, but if you use it in a positive way, it can be a motivation. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? If you use it yeah. in the right way, yeah. you know, think, right, I've got to post at least one new thing a week. Yeah. So that keeps you kind of going. That's right. So look, if you again, you if you use it in in the right way, mm-hmm. it can actually be beneficial. But all of your time I mean? is completely yeah. back to back, changing heads, doing different things. Well, yeah, and being a, a dad of three That's kids. What I'm saying. You know what I mean? Three kids. So you know, hey, kids. <laughs> Old time. So you know, life is busy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> busy. and you know. And obviously, I've got a partner as well. It's, there's lots of things you have to think about. The whole type partner as well. <laughs> oh, so, you know what I mean? So, it's um, so many different mm-hmm. heads then mm-hmm. yeah. that you have to have, you know. So, it's. And then. You come here. Paying the rent. Yeah. Paying the rent. <laughs> you know, and then, the, like you say, and then finding the money to live in London, man. Yeah. Which ain't cheap. <laughs> no. So, you know, yeah. It's a constant spin of plates. You know. And that's why, you know. And that's why a lot of people do choose the easier route of doing the more commercial stuff because yeah. you've got you got bigger money, bigger paycheck, yeah. you know, more regular work. Yeah. Which is and I totally understand that. Mm. And I totally respect that. I've got no no disrespect for people who do oh. that. And yeah. oc- occasionally I've had to do that, but yeah. not publicly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> <You know>? Oh me. <laughs> so, you know, um Yeah. So it's a real tightrope. Mm. Like you say about the integrity, keeping the bills, mm. you know, in order, everything. It's, it's, good for, it's, it's good for people to hear this. It really is because, again, you're you're world renowned, you're high regarded, and but I don't think people realise. I mean, the the, the 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 mechanics that lead up to you posting that picture on Instagram or that video or sitting around here having the chat. There's a whole load of things that are. You know, and it's a butterfly effect. If something goes wrong at this point here, next thing you're up on a cherry pick and nearly breaking your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 not all uh, it's not all smooth. Yeah. You know, 
Well, you um, make it look smooth. You make it look smooth, he does. <laughs> Believe me, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> it's looking great. It's a you know, there's many times you just think, oh, man, this is pressure is too much. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, it's tough. It's tough. But, you know, but then it's when you get those little bits of feedback, and this is, again, one of the good things of social media because you can get that feedback directly from people Straight now. away, yeah. You get that message from someone who says, oh, you know, your work's inspiration mm. or it's inspired me to start painting. Or, or I, I go down, you know, when I was um, painting the murals in my local area last year, mm. I had a um, guy come up to me. He was like, yo, Sens. Yeah? And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He went, yeah, remember me? Remember, you taught me at the a Pupil Referral Unit in Croydon. You taught me art, man. And now I'm an Which... artist myself and you're a massive influence. I was That's like, huge. whoa. Yeah. Moments like that. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, for real. Do you know what I mean? And the first people do. Actually, you know, I, I so had actually. That's what makes the struggle yeah, worthwhile. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever shouted out Rec R E Q from um, Brighton. Fuck right. the stoppist. Like yeah, he yeah. came to my he came to my youth centre when I was about nineteen, and he had a production unit and he had a microphone and he had graffiti. He actually yeah, came with it all himself. I yeah, need to yeah, big yeah. that up actually because he definitely like mm. you have to have you have to you know take your hat off to the, the to the yeah 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 yeah, you know, the people yeah for sure man for sure you know yeah. so um, yeah it's moments like that those little bits of feedback yeah it's that's everything. what that's what makes the, the all the kind of struggle and the, the turmoil you do go through yeah, yeah. you know. Even if you're at my level, you do go through, you know? Yeah, yeah. You're still you're always questioning your work still. Mm. That's that's just the way it is. That's never gonna go away. It keeps you hungry. If you're if you're if you're an artist and you're fully content with everything you do, there's a problem. Then you need there's a, you need to hang it, but there's something wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's yeah, yeah, something yeah. wrong, man. It's not you're not I dunno. It's just not right. Oh, yeah. Hang your boots up if you get to that point. You're content with everything yeah. you do. That's it. It's over. Yeah, <laughs> but there is like your style. You know, I mean, obviously you can't. You know, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I do. Um, you, your style, uh, you. It, it certainly feels owned, you know. And you said something earlier on that I totally could relate to. Um, stay hungry for sure. Always innovate. But your your style only you can do it. There has to be ownership of that, right? Like you. Yeah, 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 yeah. From a personal. Private place, you have to kind of own that shit, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you know, as I said, there's bit. I mean, I people send me stuff all the time, like check this guy. So, mm. You know, there's people just just out and out biting this. That's mm. ridiculous, man. And you know, some, your initial reaction is like, oh fucking hell, I got to call him out. I got to say something. And then you know, you think, oh well, you know. Maybe it's a kind of a compliment, but, you know, I still don't agree with it. I still, you know, I've had to message people personally and say, look, dude, man, you know. We're doing. We do, man. You need to be just focusing on your own thing, you yeah. know what I mean? Um, I wouldn't publicly post about it, but, you know, so I message them sometimes. Yeah. Just a little, a little bit of advice. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Because um, it's too but, close. It's too yeah, close, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, mm. but the thing is, you know, my style is something that, it's been developed over many, many, over, you know, 30 years of painting, mm. you know, so you can't just go pick up a can and do it. No, that's right. So, you know, it makes it a little bit more difficult. Respect the architects. You know, you, can, <laughs> you know whereas some people's styles are much easier mm. to emulate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But obviously, because mine's so many layers of yeah, techniques, yeah. so using the fat cap that way, yeah. you know, just one stroke. Yeah. The fade in the color. There's so many elements to it. Yeah, it's not easily biteable. Do you think that which is that's right? And I always go and try and make. So they've it. gone and done it. They've tried to, and I get it. Yeah, because yeah, of course. It man. means they've looked into. Do you think? Do you I think just straight copied the image? Yeah, yeah. On the wall. Yeah. So, <laughs> which is I find that crazy, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, of course. Like when we were young, we copied every piece from Subway Art, but on paper at home, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. on a wall. You wouldn't go and do. I don't. You'd go and paint a scene piece on a wall. It's you know one, what I mean? It's, it's one like, step, but like, <laughs> up, it's one step above that, isn't it? Copying someone else's to to the degree. Doesn't matter how. Doesn't matter whether it's a female instead of a male. You can see the tell hallmarks of you, you your technique at, or any writer's technique if they're copying them. So yeah, I get yeah. what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's a sign at the door. <laughs> no biting allowed. Say no, kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, first they're smoking and then they're biting. <laughs> Say no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just say no. <laughs> Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do the rap from it. I'm not yeah. Do the, um, yeah. So DJing's a thing. What you? What do you? What do you play? Um, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, like you say, I've always been, yeah, always been into music. Like, mm. I was buying records from as long as I've been kind of experimenting mm. with graph, really. So, uh, I mean, look, I, I, I'm one of them people. I play. I'm one of them rare kind of people. I love hip hop. I love funk. I love a lot of kind of early eighties kind of groove. Mm. More, so I was more always into my more electronic stuff in mm. from the electro days and stuff like that. So mm. I play a lot of kind of new electro stuff. Sick. A lot of kind of Detroit stuff. Nice. And a lot of what people would say kind of deep techno kind of stuff. That's so fucking I cool. I mix it all together. So not many people in my culture who listen to that kind of music, but but again, it's music with soul. It's electronic mm. music with soul. Mm. But I mix it with funk and stuff. I, I just kind of. You can see it even in pieces. Again, it's like, yeah. The it, electronic it, side of it, the atmosphere yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. So electronic music's, yeah, big influence for sure. But it's got to have the funk and soul to it yeah. as well. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. my music taste is eclectic as the influences of, of my art, really. You, you just know kind of I mean? opened so. my eyes to your, yeah, to having that as an influence musically. Now when I look at your, envisage your work, I'm thinking, oh, Yeah. <laughs> Like not directly. No, no, no. Of course, yeah, yeah. But the way your mind works, I'm looking yeah. at it now, thinking, ah, huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it's course, there. of course, yeah, yeah. There's a, that futurism, that kind of electronic kind of flow, with authentic techniques and a funk that is, yeah, of a, of an era. Yeah, man. Still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> it's fucking great. Wow. Well, thank you so much for passing through, my yeah, brother. Yeah, man, of course, of course. That's been a pleasure, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. The pressure's always on me when I know people have travelled so far. I'm like, oh, okay, no, right. no, that's, no, it's been good, man. It's been good. You, I really you've, appreciate you've, it. You've, you've pressed me on, on a lot of things, man. It's been good, man. <laughs> you know? We don't let it's anyone lose It's reflective, them. man, isn't it? It's reflective yeah. when you talk about, you know, your own career and stuff. For sure. You know? It really, is, it, I think it, it's good. It's good. It's hard, mm. but it's good as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think a lot of people will benefit from the conversation from the ground up. I think that's hopefully, yeah. hopefully, yeah, 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 definitely. That's that's the idea, isn't it? You know. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, man, wicked. Yeah, Send cool. You're a star. Wicked, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Not another normal day in the office. The man like sends inside the place. Big shout out to everybody listening. You know what to do. Sharing is caring. Share and share alike. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you very much, brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> Stay lucky, people. See you next time. Peace. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!